Hey folks, so uh, today someone asked me if I could go over my reshade settings real quick. Uh, so first and foremost, uh, what I use is just a very slightly modified version of Immersaholic's reshade for Rome 2. Uh, literally all of the same sliders just adjusted uh, to be a little bit more darker and moodier. Um, so you're going to want to start by downloading Immersaholic's reshade. Uh, I'll provide a link in the description, and the link will include the, the, the basic install steps. Um, installing Reshade isn't too difficult. You just download Reshade. Uh, you go through the installer. It'll, it'll uh, ask you to uh, whether you want to install a bunch of uh, effects. You hit yes to all of those. Uh, it'll ask you like which rendering engine to, 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 to install with. I think it'll be like direct basically like direct 3d 10 11 12 or whatever kind of like direct x um and then it'll be ready and you'll go launch the game you hit the home button and uh it'll give you a tutorial on this uh you will want to set your overlay key to something like pause to open and close the reshade overlay uh it's by default it's home but home will take you to your general so i don't like doing that so i set it to pause uh, and then you want to set like an effect toggle key. So uh, right now I am running the reshade, I believe. Yep, I am running the reshade. Uh, but if I hit F10, you can see this is without. And you can see like the game's turned up pretty high in terms of like gamma and brightness. So, you know, it's, it's not ideal. This isn't how bad the game normally looks if you adjust your brightness settings properly. But you do see this is a significant difference just in how the lighting and shadows work. And that's the big thing that Immersaholic's Reshade does. So let's open it up real quick. Um, I'll open up Immersaholic's actual base Reshade, which I downloaded for this, and you can see it's very much so the same. Uh, you will want to go into Add-ons, and you'll want to make sure you have Copy Depth Buffer, buffer Before Clear Operations checked, and then you'll want to check whichever box has your screen resolution on it. You check this too. Um, and that'll make the depth of field stuff work properly. Uh, so if we look here at home and check off performance mode so we can see the sliders. Uh, let's go through them real quick. Uh, so curves at 189, basically just adjust how shadows work. Most of these adjust how shadows work. Uh, fake HDR, it adds like an HDR effect with some radii behind it. You, you want to leave the radii mostly alone to whatever the you know, person who made this reshade set it to. Hang on. I'm going to turn the volume down so I can zoom in. These guys are super loud. Go. I want to zoom in so I can see stuff while I'm doing this. Um, let's see. So, like, if we turn fake HDR up, you can see it gets way, 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 way darker. Uh, it's more noticeable on the terrain. You can really see it kind of affecting the, the terrain, and it kind of does it in, like, a, in, in a circular effect. Uh, it can, a fake HDR by itself can do quite a bit. Uh, there's some film grain. I have this turned down because I'm not a huge film grain person. And in fact, this may be causing some of the jagged edges I've been seeing even turned down. So I might turn this off completely. I'm not a big fil film grain person, uh, but some people like it for, um, I guess it looks more like a camera. Uh, levels kind of does the same stuff as, as a HDR. Uh, it affects how shadows and lighting works. Uh, Luma Sharpen, I believe, is like literally it's a sharpening effect. I have this turned completely off. I don't use this at all. Um, or if I have it turned on, it's like down here, like to do almost nothing. Uh, sepia does exactly what it says on the tin and adds a sepia effect. Uh, vibrance does exactly what it says on the tin. And actually, this is one of the most powerful slider, sliders, the effects you can use, in my opinion. A lot of reshades have this. Almost all of them have this. Many reshades I've seen are just Vibrance and fake HDR and nothing else. And some of the reshades I use are fake HDR and Vibrance and nothing else. And that's because if you want the game to look kind of gritty, let's go down here. You want the game to look kind of gritty? Well, just just turn Vibrance down. There you go. Now we're kind of in like, you know, desaturated save private Ryan uh, land right here. Save private lion. 
Uh, you want the game to look like the Halo CE? Turn it way, way up. You can see the difference there. Let me zoom out. Vibrance. Yep. There you go. There's the difference. Somewhere around here, I think. And then Vignette uh, does exactly what it says on the tin. It makes you fall asleep. Actually, uh, set something like this. Rome 2 has its own vignette, so I'm not sure why this is here. Uh, you know, I don't know what the justification for it is, but, you know, they, they put it in for a reason, I'm sure. So I, ju I just leave that one alone. Uh, so now I'll show you mine. And by mine, I just mean Immersaholics Reshade with very slightly different settings. And I'll just kind of scroll through slowly through all of my settings so you can see them. Uh, so I got curves at 189, just like just like theirs. I got fake HDR at about the same settings. Uh, film grain, you can see I've turned down. In fact, I'm going to just turn it off. No, no more film grain. In fact, get out. Uh, levels, I think I got about the same. Uh, sepia, I think I got about the same. Vibrance, I've actually got turned it down. So I've got it higher than the base, you know, higher than zero, but not turned up as high as the reshade has it to where it's like around here. Um, at a, at a certain point, it just didn't quite feel right. But I may I may reexamine that. I I tweak the uh, the color settings all the time, uh, b between videos and stuff like that. So, you know, don't expect that to stay the same. And really, you know, adjust to your own taste. No two monitors are the same. Even the same model of a monitor. Uh, you know, two monitors out of the box, fresh, brand new. They'll have very slightly different variations sometimes. And vignette, uh, I think I left it exactly the same as as the base mod. So there you go. There's my settings. Uh, I'll show you real quick also my brightness gamma. Uh, 25 and 10 is what I have my computer set to. You know, your mileage may vary. What's your monitor brightness, right? Um, and here's what I have for graphic settings. I have everything on Ultra uh, for recording. Unlimited video memory turned on, but I do have an RTX 3090 and like an i9 processor, so uh, this computer can handle everything. And when I'm not uh, recording, I have everything on extreme because I'm a masochist and I hate my frame rate. But yeah, uh, hopefully that helps. I'll post the uh, link to the download and the workshop page uh, into the video description along with their instructions. And if uh, anyone's still struggling, let me know. Have a good one, guys. Peace.